Welcome to the 2017 fifth grade promotion. We are so glad that you came. Thank you to all the teachers, parents, and counselors for your ongoing support. We'd also like to thank Ms. Hernandez for making fifth grade the best year we've had. So tonight we're going to be performing for you a play called Character Matters 2. The basic storyline of the play is that three very famous fairy tale characters, which you will get to meet later, are on an advice council. They give advice to people and to folks in tough situations. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> Really? 
that's not true. What was Lumpy? Was it Stumpy? Was it Bob or Billy? Oh, for me. Yeah. 
I've tried every name I can think of. I even sent messengers to try and find out, but it's hopeless. Don't give up. You can't let this ogre win. Who are you calling an ogre? I'm a businessman. I ran this all past the folks in the legal department. This thing is airtight. <laughs>
know, I see your point. We have to protect our world. I will practice sustainable harvesting to get to the castle, rescue sleeping beauty while preserving the biodiversity of our ecosystem, and then use recycled products to build our own environmentally friendly Bring on. Excellent, child. Your hope and your whole classroom. Uh, thanks. The prince used to be on fairy tale advice council before it went off to save the sleeping princess. Say, how's that going? I had a little snack, but I'm heading right now to perform an environmental intervention. I wondered why there was a fairy tale in council. Well, um, tall vegetables pull up beside the prince. We don't like to talk about it. We had a rather subtle designation. But she started to go bad. Me? I did not. And who's this? Oh, I'm um, I'm dead, I'm dead. You replaced <laughs> me with the British egg. Hey, I know you. Aren't you which who listen to Jewish Red House coming with candy? It's a friendly place. There's even a sign that says kids eat free. <laughs>
shouldn't judge people by how they appear. But the ugly duckling is just so different looking. Yeah, like he did a swan dive into an empty pool or something. You need to think about how he feels. Put yourself in his place. Remember the golden rule. The golden rule? It sounds like you need a lesson from the golden rule, singer. Oh, you told me 
That's kind of how it felt in class every day, pretty much. That kind of energy and fun and um, laughter and a lot of uh, growing our character, I think. I want to thank each family of this beautiful group of fifth graders that I was fortunate and proud to call my fifth grade class for sending such bright, 
kind children to school each day, eager and ready to learn. It is the nurturing time, commitment, and value you placed on education that has seen your child through preschool, kindergarten, and now their final year in elementary school. You always remember the first time you did something new and exciting, the first time you rode a bike without training wheels, the first time your parents trusted you with the keys to the car, the first time I held my daughter, I couldn't resist putting that one in. The Gregory School Get Great Class of 2024 will forever be a wonderful memory of my first year of teaching extraordinary children at this extraordinary school. I think most educators would agree that we learn as much from our students as they learn from us. This amazing fifth grade class has taught me to appreciate the creative spirit of children even when something is crooked, broken, or doesn't quite work. I kind of thinking of our Rick Goldberg machine right about now. <laughs> to laugh when I am taking things too seriously, to slow down when I want to speed up, and that an extra five minutes of recess can make all the difference. <laughs> I hope that my students have learned that hard work pays off. The right thing to do and the hardest thing to do are often one and the same. When you do something wrong, do everything you can to make it right. Making mistakes is a necessary part of learning, and yes, spelling counts. In the spirit and celebration of learning that brings us here today, for my students, I have good news. We've all passed to the sixth grade. Yay! But I have bad news. I have one last assignment that you must promise to turn in. But I also have good news. It's not due for 10 years. That gives you seven years to get you through high school, and an extra three years for those of you who always seem to turn things in late. Here's the assignment. You must pretend you are an explorer, explorer on a 10-year mission to observe and learn everything you can from the world around you. The following directions will help you complete the assignment and document your findings. Number one, make friends, as many as you can find, in different sizes, shapes, and colors. Two, collect experiences. As you navigate the next 10 years, learn to create something you never thought you could. Read a really long, thick, heavy book with no pictures. Find a cause and make a difference. Take notes. Make a list of the funny things you did. Record the times you triumphed over adversity. And don't forget the moments that you were disappointed. You will learn from those too. Write down all that you have achieved and accomplished. And think of things you never thought you could do. Number four, ask questions and find answers. You will learn so much about the world from the people around you. This includes your family, friends, and teachers. So ask questions, but also be sure to seek answers. Number five, observe. Watch and study how others learn. Some do it quietly, and some make a lot of noise. <laughs> Try to discover how you learn and what motivates you. Number six, finally, communicate your findings. You can email this assignment to me or use whatever technology will be available in 10 years to communicate on your behalf. But my dream would be that you learn to value and appreciate the art of conversation that comes from your voice, from you. Over the next 10 years, practice to communicate to those around you outside of using a device. There will never be a technology that can convey and express your emotions, your spirit, your passion better than you can. I know you're going to ask me how many pages this assignment has to be. You already know my answer. After being your teacher for a year, you know that I would say that is up to you. You will decide how many friends you make, experiences you have, experiences you collect, questions you ask, and answers you find. You also know me well enough to know that I would be very disappointed if you turned in anything less than a thousand pages. No. I'm confident that you are leaving the fifth grade feeling capable, equipped, prepared for your 10-year explorer mission on a learning adventure. Jody Picot wrote, I wonder about the explorers who sailed their ships to the end of the world, how terrifying they must have been when they risked falling over the edge, and how amazed to discover, instead, places they had seen only in their dreams. I hope your final assignment for me takes you to places you've only seen. Good afternoon.
afternoon, boys and girls, and special guests. My job is to bring some thanks and appreciation to this afternoon's ceremony. So first and foremost, let's give Mrs. Hernandez a big round. grateful uh, that Mrs. Hernandez just completed her first year at the Gregory School and we feel extremely fortunate to have her as a member of our team. Um, I would be remiss if we didn't acknowledge as well Mrs. Kornfeld for her work with you as is your Spanish teacher this year. Mrs. Martinez is also here who was a wonderful volunteer helper in the Spanish class. Boys and girls, it is an honor As I look into the audience, there are a number of middle school faculty here, and I know some of them are here because they have been your specialist teacher. They've helped you with art and music and PE and languages, but they're also here to welcome you into the sixth grade. And we are very, very proud that for the past three years since we started fifth grade, we have 100% retention here at the Great Grade School. With that in mind, in addition to the faculty, I also would like to acknowledge Ms. Patton, who as our assistant head and coordinator of all things middle school, certainly has been a very supportive and helpful hand to all of you in your fifth grade year. Thank you, Ms. Patton. And last but not least, we have three members of the Board of Trustees here. And so again, fifth graders, that is quite an honor, and that is indicative. In fact, the trustees, if you want to stand up so we can recognize you and thank you. So four members of our board are here, boys and girls. See how and we know without even their presence that you are very important. And I could not help but think to myself as I was counting you on the stage, reminding myself that there are 15 wonderful students that are moving on to sixth grade. Do you know we have 16 students that are going to be graduating from the Gregory School this Friday night? 16 students, I mean we have more than that that are graduating Friday night, but those 16 started their career here together at the Gregory School. And so it is indeed a special celebration for them that they have traveled the last seven years together and they have left an indelible mark at our school. And I cannot wait to see what you are going to continue to do and give to our middle school. In that graduating class, we have students that have brought back wonderful recognition. They're scientists, and they've come back from international competitions bringing recognition to the school. We have a young woman graduating in the class that was recognized as the best athlete in our division in the entire state of Arizona. And yes, we even had a graduate who was published last week in the New York Times. So, looking at the talent that I saw up here on stage, I cannot wait, as Dr. Seuss would say, to, to see all the places that you will go in the next several years, all of the wonderful contributions you are going to make to our school. And with that, I know you are anxious to get on with the individual recognition to honor your promotion from fifth grade to sixth grade. Congratulations and thank you, last but not least, to the families that have invested in your child's education and brought them to the Gregory School. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Liam Adil wins the Analytical Award. And my quote for Liam is, Wisdom begins in wonder from Socrates. The Leadership Award goes to Nick Allen. My quote for you, Nick, is that leadership is doing what is right when no one is watching. George Benville. Award goes to Cora D'Arcangelo. And my 
quote for Cora is, never believe that a few caring people can't change the world, for indeed that's all you ever have. Margaret Eve. The critical thinking award goes to defeat L. Don't underestimate the power of your vision to change the world. Leroy Finn. The Curiosity Award goes to J.D. Hunt. The important thing is to not stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. Albert Einstein. The Scholarship Award goes to Daisy Hurst. <laughs> Hi, Daisy. Learning is not attained by chance. It must be sought for with ardor and diligence. Abigail Evans. <laughs> the Compassion Award goes to Lily Kornfeld. Sometimes, said Pooh, the smallest things take up the most room in your heart. A. A. Bones. The Communication Award goes to Carson Lowe. <laughs> Words are, in my not so humble opinion, our most inexhaustible source of magic. J.K. Rowling. Award goes to Andres Martinez. Some people want it to happen, some people wish it to happen, and others make it happen. Michael Jordan. <laughs> the Work Ethic Award goes to Paloma McMahon. Working hard is important, but there is something more important believing in yourself. Harry Potter, J.K. Ryan. <laughs> It's coming. <laughs> the Innovation Award goes to Ava McPeak. Imagining, imagination is the beginning of creation. You imagine what you desire, you will what you imagine, and at last you create what you will. George Bernard Shaw. goes to Logan Micus. If we did all the things we are capable of, we would literally astound ourselves. Thomas Edison. The character award goes to Red Carter Reynolds. Today you are you. That is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you. That proves Optimism Award goes to Avi Salman. Optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Nothing can be done without hope and confidence. Helen Keller. And the Creativity Award goes to Olivia Spencer. Creative people are curious, flexible, persistent, Independent, with a tremendous spirit of adventure and a love of play, Henry Matisse. invite Lori Patton, who is the director of our middle school, to come and speak to you.
Dear fifth graders, I couldn't be more proud of you. You did such a great job on the stage. Each day this year, I have seen you arrive at school with a smile on your face, a bounce in your step, ready to take on the day. And you're me. <laughs> we have been so lucky to have you. I'll speak to him over here. Fifth graders. We've been so lucky to have you at TGS. My wish is. without your words, without your laugh, without your smile, and without your incredible heart, our school would be really missing a part. And because of you, our school is whole. And I couldn't be more proud of you. Parents, thank you so much for coming and celebrating these incredible kids. And I wish everybody a wonderful summer. I could ask uh, Dr. Cheryl and Mrs. Bergerson and Mrs. Patton to come back up just for a second, please. One of the things that is so important to me that the students leave the fifth grade with is a sense of leadership. And we've talked about how leaders are sometimes quiet and they're sometimes loud. We've been really fortunate at the Gregory School to have the best example of leadership with Dr. Cheryl and Mrs. Patton and Mrs. Bergerson. Everything we wanted to do this year, they helped that dream come true, and so our class wants to thank them and recognize them for being such amazing role models for leadership. <laughs> and for sharing your wonderful children with us. And I'll be watching you since next year. I'll be checking up on you. <laughs> okay, good night.